Hello YouTube, it is I, Pocket Gamer here, bringing you a new exciting episode of Let's Play Sonic Generations. On our last episode, we tackled that mystery zone, which was Casino Night Zone, and tonight we are going to go on to the new mystery zone, which is known for, well, I had no problem when I was a child playing this game, but I did not like this level a lot. I was not a fan, and boy, that's loud again. Um... Tonight we're going off to go to that one level that some of you may like. Personally, I don't like it at all. Like, not one bit. I just tried to get over as fast as I can. Tonight we're going off to... Let this load. Mushroom Hill. Mushroom Hill originated from Sonic and Knuckles. and Or you could also say Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And, um, the music's really boring for me. It doesn't have a lot of feeling. Uh, the level's too much of a forest. Even, like, the game, the level was supposed, was kind of like this, but in the Genesis, ah, dang it. In the Genesis, I did not like the level layout at all. And especially this layout, I mean, it seems pretty boring and bland. Um... I know many of you Sonic gamers that are out there watching this right now be like, Oh, you're just a hater for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I have no problem with it. Like, I like Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I just don't like this level, personally. Uh, later when I go on to do the Sonic Gem... It's not the Gems collection, but it's gonna be the Sonic and the... What was it? I think it was Sonic... Sonic Mega Collection. I'm going to go on and I'm going to make uh, playthrough for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but that's what not gonna happen until either console gaming or it's gonna happen until I get a, a chip card for the um, or not the chip card, the, the, the capture card for Nintendo 3DS. Uh, but besides that, I don't like this level at all. Thankfully, after this level, I ain't going to be able to show you two of the levels that I like. Well, the only one level that I like after this, um, S rank because I don't know why. <laughs> I am surprised I got an S rank because I, I am surprised also that I beat it this fast. Usually, like tend to take like three to five minutes. But besides that, um, s modern Sonic's level, however, is somewhat entertaining for me. Not because of the level layout; it's too much of a fall layout. But, uh, the reason for that is because, well, I got that boost mechanic and I can experiment a lot with it, and I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I think I got an A rank before, but besides that, um, as you saw, there was a prompt right there, and I missed that. Uh, that prompt represents whenever... Uh, I was moving something on my PC right now by accident, but whenever you see that prompt, it means that um, you need to hold that but that button down. I like uh, when I first played it. I played it with the circle pad, and I had no problem with it. But as I played, I noticed that I tend to use an ability, the stomp ability that we'll get later in a future video, um, a lot. And since it's moving downward. It makes me, uh, my, damn it, no. It makes the stomp run automatic sometimes when I press the B button for the homing attack. And it does not work. And then I tried using the homing attack. And that works a lot better for me, honestly. And I think we're about to reach the near end of the level. Yeah, we're about to get there. Um, besides that, uh, Mushroom Hill, I am not a fan of. But, in the next video, we're going to tackle one of my most favorite stages because not only that, it was the first uh, Sonic level that I played in the console that we came out of. Um, I won't go more into details until we reach that game, but besides that, uh, yeah, tonight's video is going to be a two-parter video. Um, not only because of that, it's because I feel I may run out of time. 
A rank, see? I told you guys I was gonna get an A rank. Besides that, uh, we got a little clip. Sonic! Hi, Tails! I remember this place too. All these mushrooms, it was, uh. Yeah, I remember it too. What the heck is going on? Um. There is a huge difference between the 3DS title and the. Um. And the PS3, Xbox, and 360. As you saw, we already tackled all of the levels. And when you notice, uh, in the PS3 titles, there is missions that you're supposed to do. In this version, you don't have to do none of the missions. Uh, all you can do is basically is the chaos special stage. Um, there is a 100 mission um, counter that you can complete by simply either street passing people or by walking a lot and using your play coins. That costs five. It costs five play coins. Five play coins to um to unlock one one mission. So uh, instead, I did the play coins thing. I ah, know. Okay, <laughs> I did the play coins thing, and um, I went whenever I get the chance to street pass someone, I immediately uh, use that because uh. Me, 100% in this game, it took me a long time. It took me about three weeks to 100% this game. That's pretty long for me. Ah, dang. Um, like I said, 100% in this game isn't too hard, but it's kind of hard when it comes to the mission mode because mission mode is impossible if you're not uh, constantly walking. Like, I had to walk every day. Whenever I had the chance, I would walk. And I'll be constantly being telling my parents, hey, you guys need something from the store? I'll just go walk and then I'll take my DS with me for either Street Pass and or more play coins. Besides that, we chaos, we acquired the Chaos Emerald. And yeah, another A rank because I accidentally hit myself right there on the bomb. Um, that cost me to, I think I hit myself twice, I don't remember. I'll probably look at it back when I look at the video. But besides that, we got the third Chaos Emerald and uh, yeah, no missions. We go off straight to the level. So we are going to face off to Sonic's greatest nemesis since the Genesis era. After this clip. Oh, it's just a mirror. Why, hello, everyone. Take a good look at yourself, Sonic. Eggman. It's the last look you'll get before you get, before I close your eyes forever. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. What? The me in the mirror is, huh? Hang on just a minute. Oh, you beat me to it. Uh, yeah, we are going to face off one of Sonic's greatest nemesis in which I thought it was the best nemesis I ever thought. Oh, ho, ho, ho. welcome, Sonic. Allow me to introduce myself to you, my masterpiece. Metal Sonic and yeah we get the start the bad Stardust Speedway from the Japanese version of the music um, yeah I love this theme a lot I had I own the the remade version for the for the iPhone I do not have the console version sadly I would love to own it to see how uh, have it compared because I ain't going to do comparison videos on this game eventually. But besides that, it's a racing. It's in. It's just exactly like you in the Genesis game. And um, however, ah, dang it. In this version, in the in this version, it's a racing game. In the PS3 and Xbox title, it's um, it's a battle mission. So honestly, I prefer the battle mission because. Hell, who who doesn't want to freaking Chuck Norris kick uh, Metal Sonic in the face and make him explode off into the distance? Besides that, it's not a hard mission. It just requires a lot of skill and practice. And in this part, you always want to do that so you can get Metal Sonic because it's a lot easier and make your day faster. But besides that, S rank. Whenever we do that, we unlock the boss stage. But besides that, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to make the boss in a separate video. Reason for that is because we'll get an extra clip. And 
I don't know how long I'll take beating the big arm. Uh, because I don't have that one ability that I had I said before. So thankfully for that, I won't be able to uh, phase big arm as like freaking awesome Sonic. I'm going to be playing as normal classic Sonic. But besides that, um, yeah, just like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you can spread out the video channels and you know what to do. Alright, Pocket Gamers. It's I, Pocket Gamer, saying goodnight.